Hello and welcome back to a new video. It's been a while. I was in Utrecht at the Pokemon Go uh, or Pokemon special event. Watched uh, some nice battles live and uh, yeah, I've recorded my first uh, five battles uh, from the Mountain Cup. Um, I think this cup uh, we've never had before. If I don't uh, completely uh, remember something wrong. And someone in chat and Twitch chat made me build my uh, Shadow Marsh Tom. And I ended up pairing it with uh, Frostlass. As well as S Cavalier. Um, movesets are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I'm not, wanna, not running any shenanigans on s -Cav. We're just running uh, Drill 1 as well as Mega Horn. Um, but yeah, for the majority, I feel like in this cup, you're just gonna need Drill 1 anyway. So let's jump straight into the battles. This is obviously a great lead. Poland brings in their Frostlass. We're gonna take neutral damage just like a Swampert, which is bad in this cup. So we're just playing the small brother. We uh, switch into our own Frostlass. Um, and then they are definitely in range for Avalanche, which is good for us. So we don't even need to think about doing any bait shenanigans. We can just go for Avalanche. And uh, if they know shield it, they're gone. All right, and they do end up no shielding it. Here comes. Macargo. It is pretty slow with the incinerate. We're going to be able to get to a big move there. And I think I would have been able to reach the Shadow Ball if I committed. Luckily for me, my opponent ends up shooting anyway. Right here. They are trying to catch a move maybe on their Volwain. But yeah, this is a very good situation for us. Excadrill being able to resist the Isaac Spears. Still does a decent amount because Excadrill is rather squishy. But uh, in combination with the Mud Bomb, the counters are going to be able to do enough damage to knock it out. And right here, we are winning CMP over the Macargo and are doing double super effective damage, which is more than enough to knock it out. Well, seen this before, another Macargo lead. They go into the Whiskash. We're going to go the Surf. And right here, I'm switching into my Frostlass again. Want to preserve our Whisker, uh, want to preserve our Marsh Tomb for their Macargo. To my surprise, my opponent's shield right here. Um, I'm actually pretty happy about that. I go for the Mud Bomb. And we do win the Simpita right here. And yeah, they let it go. This actually worked very well for me, because now they have less farm. And they have an own exit in the back. This is good, we are up a shield with the mirror match as well as a very positive matchup with our Marsh Tomp against their Macargo. Four no shields right here, could have maybe seen this coming. Uh, but we are able to reach another drill one and that is basically gonna see the opponent does shield. But what are they going to throw? They can only throw really resisted moves. And it's impossible to stack two moves on Macargo. So easy surf double, super effective. Next up, another good lead. Catching all the ground types. Becomes another Frostlass. Gonna go for the surf. We don't have like a great answer. We have no way of punishing. Um, the Frostlass safe swap, but uh, this is a fine matchup for the Marsh Tomp. And right here, I am catching a move, successfully catching an Avalanche. Very nice to make that happen. That saves us a shield. Pwn comes in with Diggersby. I try to CMP tie them, try to throw after they did five mud shots. They end up over farming. Understandable, because they would lose a CMP tie. And then, right here, I was uh, slightly greedy. I should have just thrown the Avalanche. Could have seen that I'm not gonna get to the Shadow Ball. 
That would have definitely made things easier. However, we have double stuff right here. And now we are able to no shit the drill one. And they ended up CMP tying us and they even win it. I have to shield right here, otherwise the counters are just gonna do too much damage against my Marsh Dump. And now we pray that they don't march us down. And they do not. We win the game, very nice. Next up, we are up against the Shiny Lapras. I've seen quite some uh, people run uh, Water Gun on Lapras. I guess there's not too much use for ice. So water gun does make some sense. We are outpacing the lapers by a lot, but it also tanks the move way better than we do. And the opponent comes into the Glisco right here. I'm going for the surf. This does a lot and right here I was hoping to farm him down before they reach a night slash, but they live with like one HP, maybe two. I get off the super effective Night Slash still like 50% to our first less. But they come into Lucario and this is not great for them. They have to shield and they also cannot really throw pop since it's uh, resisted. They have to go for the Shadow Ball and um, yeah, now we're just gonna be able to do a lot of counters right there. We both try to catch. <laughs> And it ends up with us knocking out the Lapras and the Lucario as well. Game over. Next up, we do have an Ascaval Elite. Weak connection. We get to the fast move, uh, charge move quicker. Uh, let's shield it. I'm gonna go right. Let me switch right here. They switch into the uh, Empoleon. First time seeing that. So they do shield the Shadow Bomb. And I'm not sure, but I don't think my Shadow Ball would knock out from this range. So I'm just going to let it go. And I decide to go for a huge farm with my Ascaf. I was up a shield, so definitely fine with giving my opponent that shield back. Or up two shields, in fact, for a huge farm. And right here I make a mistake. I should have went for the Mega Horn. It not only gets stab, but it's uh, yeah, also the higher energy so it does uh, more damage and then I shoot a fire punch I needed to no shoot right there that was my only win condition and uh, to my surprise this drill one actually knocks out if it would have not then we might have had a chance but yeah this game was definitely kind of thrown for me I think I could have very well had it and yeah that way I end up with a 4-1 instead of a 5-0 uh, but yeah Marshtom so far has been a fun pick I think some people might not uh, know how to play against it. It's, it's not something you see as much, right? Especially in Open Great League. You never see Marsh Dump, you only see Swampert. And yeah, Surf, Mud Bomb hits pretty much everything for either super effective or neutral damage. So that's kind of nice. The Spaminess also really cool. And yeah, that's gonna be it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Goodbye.